This is Radio Plasma, a space dedicated to the exchange of ideas, conversations, stories, music, performances, and randomness. Listen at radioplasma.com. Also, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Play, TuneIn, and Stitcher. So here we are at Bombix, and we have a very special guest visiting for the first time, and it's my honor and pleasure to welcome Superman. Yes. Christian Parrish takes the gun, and what an honor to meeting you and to be able to enjoy of your music performance, and especially that you are here in the celebration of the National uh, Heritage for Native Americans Month. Yes, mm -hmm. yep, it's an honor to be here. I don't come to the East Coast, you know, very often, so I, every chance I get to come this way is, is always a special time for me. You know, I'll try to take it all in. And being, you know, Native American Heritage Month, it's it's awesome to promote the heritage and represent, you know, be a good representative of, of the culture and the people. So you were born in the West Coast, And you, at a young age, got also involved with the hip hop culture, DJing, doing parties, and this became a very interesting syncretism of cultures that mm -hmm. blended perfectly for a way for you to express and to make strong messages through your music. Yeah, definitely. So hip hop culture, Natives were really, um, I, found, I find that natives during that time of, of the evolution of hip hop, um, we were drawn to the culture, you know, because, you know, uh, they were the voice of the oppressed, you know, so natives were really drawn to the message of, of hip hop. And, um, and so we participated in the culture, breakdancing, DJing and things like that. And uh, so combining the, the two um, cultures, you know, coming from a native background being around the you know the singing the dances and you know the kinships the different traditions of of Upsaluga, me so i'm i'm Upsaluga, uh, or the crow crow is the mistranslation of our people so in the u.s alone there's over you know 600 tribes you know and so each one is different different languages customs you know protocols and things like that so i am just one um, of those tribes And so to put the fusion together with the hip hop music has been a, it's been a task and a journey. Yeah. And you started a career in the music since 2005, first with one group and then under your own uh, Superman name. How this blending of hip hop and at the same time representation as a Native American has growth with the uh, albums that you have released, and also with the experience, utilizing music and culture as a way to connect and also to keep the Native American culture alive as well? Yes, that's a good question. So um, when it came to my journey as, as a human being, uh, I was raised in, in a Western church culture, you know, Christianity, and that became my music, my My um, representation was representing, you know, Western church culture and Christianity. And as I grew up and, you know, started to get more mature and being more, you know, connected with, with uh, my native culture, I began to kind of, you know, uh, the two were separating, you know, from Christianity into more of, uh, you know, the, the native values and things like that. And so the infusion, that's when the infusion started with uh, the culture of, uh, you know, the instrumentation, you know, you get the flute, you have the uh, the drums and, you know, the singing, you know, the different styles, adding that in with hip hop. So um, I never did put the two together, though, you know, like early on, early, early, early days, you never, never put them together in my mind. I thought you don't do it. You know, it's just too sacred, you know, like all the songs that we have as Upsaluga are said to be gifts from the wind. So they're, they're all rooted in spirituality. And so to just throw that in, you know, with hip hop is, is like, uh, I don't know about that, you know, it's kind of taboo, you know, it's like, uh, you don't really do that. So nobody was really doing it, really. So it was actually um, an encouragement from our elders 
uh, that kind of prompted that. You know, there are our elders. We were, you know, I've been a dancer. You know, my pretty much uh, since I was a fourth grader, I was, you know, a dancer, traditional crow style, and then switched to fancy dancing, which is more contemporary. But um, I was I was participating in the culture before hip hop, and so uh, we we performed the dances at a, at an event, and then. Uh, it was Native American Heritage Day. So they're like, hey, can you do the dances, talk about the culture? Yeah, sure. So we did that and we got done. We went off to the side and the, the lady says, hey, don't you guys rap? You know, aren't you rappers? You know, are you MCs? I'm like, yeah, we do. And we're in our outfits, you know, we're in our regalia. And she goes, why don't you rap for all these kids? You know, there's a lot of kids here, a lot of youth. And so we were like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. You know, let's do it. And then we went to go change our clothes, you know, change from our regalia. Started walking away. She goes, "Where are you going? I thought you guys were gonna perform." We're like, "Oh, we are, but we're gonna, we're gonna change," you know. And she's like, uh, "No, I need you to go on right now," you know. So we're like, "Yo, let's just do it," you know. Let's let's just get this over with. My nephew was like, "Let's let's do it so we can go eat," you know. He's hungry, so we got up there in our regalia, you know, in our outfits, and put your hands in the air, you know. We start rapping in our outfits, and everybody's like, "Wow, what what is this?" You know, I've never seen this before. This is something unique. Okay, you know, all right, you know. And so it was just kind of like almost a shock, you know, to the to the people. But they vibed with it, you know, they liked it, they enjoyed it. They thought it was special. And so it was our elders who, who came over afterwards. We went, we got done, did some, um, you know, couple songs, went off to the st- off side of the stage. And our elder, one of my grandpas, you know, he's he knows the language, knows the protocols, he knows the customs. You know, he just really respected in our tribe. And he was walking over and I was like, oh, man. He's going to get mad, you know, he's going to chew us out, you know, we should have never did that, man, we're messed up, we should have never did that. And, but, um, you know, when I looked up at him, he took his hat off, stuck his hand out, you know, he said, that was powerful, what you guys did, did. that was awesome. He's like, you guys showed these people you're proud to be a Psaloga, proud to be native, and you knew the dances, you knew the protocol, you knew, you know, you knew the history of the dance, origins, and you're good dancers, you know, really good dancers. And you spoke the language of these young people, which is hip hop. You know, they listen to you because of that. Then you had something positive to say. I heard you talking about being a, a father, a husband, you know, drug and alcohol free. He's like, I, that's powerful. He said, that's, that's good. He said, you know, our young people, they're dying. They're losing their ways. They're committing suicide. We're losing our language. We're losing our traditions. He said, anything you boys do to reach them, you know, where they're at, it's worth it. It's worth, you know doing that, what you boys just did. It's worth it. Keep it up. You boys keep that up, you know? So being a respected elder saying that to me, you know, keep keep it up. That encouraged me. And it actually changed my mindset. You know, my mindset was already, no, you don't do it. But to hear from our elders saying it was good and it was worth it because you're reaching people, then that's when my mindset changed. And I was like, I was more confident. I was like, all right, maybe we can take this somewhere. We can do something with it. And so I started getting more you know, proactive in putting the the culture together. And I created the prayer loop song where I'm all in my outfit, I'm beatboxing, you know, it's just a a huge fusion. And uh, we had confidence and started, you know, valuing the messaging more than uh, what people were going to say. Yeah. What an amazing way to have support and to see the wisdom of of your elder giving that support and encouraging yes. you to to do what you're doing. So now mm-hmm. we're going to be able, and I want to thank your elders for, for that mm. support because now yeah. you are here and we're, we're going to experience that fusion mm-hmm. of your culture, customs, traditions, and at the same time, the powerful message and energy that mm-hmm. music and especially hip hop has. Yes. So with that, how this evolution putting together loops, beats, electronic sounds to your music while keeping the sounds of your original instrumentation, dances, rhythms, mm-hmm. cantics. How, how did it all came together to, is, to what it is now, your, your show as Superman? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so as, it, as I started becoming more of a performer, you know, people would invite us to go dance, you know, and then kind of like, oh yeah, can you dance and rap, you know, and so, we're like, oh yeah, we can, we can come and dance and rap, and so it, instead of just 
dancing and then going and changing, you know, we we're just like, yo, we're gonna wrap them our outfits. It became more of a of a thing to share the two worlds, you know, the the culture and then hip hop. It just like became more. Uh, it was easier, you know, just to to share that, and so it also gave us a platform to. Uh, share the culture in in that way and let them know that hey there is you know there is a a line you know there there is a line but although it is fusion this is the culture side you know this dance comes from Oklahoma it comes from the horse dance from the crazy dance the values of this dance are this you know you like you share the culture in that way and the dances and then you can go over here. Hey, now this is hip hop. This is contemporary. This is the fusion. So you know the two, you know. So we let. So somebody might be in the audience who's like who never saw native culture, you know, who never saw you know that. They might think that the infusion is just oh wow, that's that's part of Upsaluga culture. Or it's Native American, you know. Yeah, it's Native American, but it's contemporary, you know. That's what I want them to know is like you know this is this is contemporary. It, it's good, but there's also the the solid foundation of culture you know the the um i guess you could say the essence you know there's there's teachings and there's there's things that i won't share you know online there's things of my culture i won't share it's just it's it's for my family it's for our people you know and it's like too sacred or you know it's like it's things that you don't share uh, but like my dance, which is a fancy dance, is contemporary. You know, it was built for the show, and so I'm I'm 100% confident. You know, in in presenting that, in giving that to to an audience because it was created for the show, and so comes along with the fusion. I'm I'm more confident in doing that. Yeah. It's interesting how the parallel between the hip hop culture that has its five elements with the graffiti, the, the break dancing, the DJ, the lyrics, mm -hmm. uh, and the education in itself yeah. of what the culture means, what it stands for, is an enhanced experience when you also are sharing your dances, your music, sounds, instrument, meaning of what it is. And as you mentioned, this contemporary way of representing Native American mm -hmm. yeah. music and dance. I think this is such an amazing experience for people to, to know and appreciate. And at the same time, I feel for Native American folk from different tribes to feel encouraged to do something similar in, mm -hmm. their, own, in their own ways. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm all about that, you know, like presenting that to the people because there's people who still think, you know, we live in teepees or they they always see us as in the past or how Hollywood has presented us, you know, as wearing feathers all the time, you know, and stuff like that. So they always have that wrong perception, the wrong narrative that is um that the system pushes. And so to share both of them, I think it's important that they see, oh yeah, we are tied to culture and you know, and in our ancestors and values but oh we're hip-hop artists we're doctors we're lawyers you know we're in the modern day society surviving you know i'm telling you this in the english language i'm rapping in english you know and like so we are fighting the systems of oppression still you know and you tell those stories you tell the stories of overcoming and you know um uh, assimilation and you, you start to use that platform to share those things and 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 be honest like this is what i am this is what a native looks like and sounds like in you know 2021 you know i'm on my journey and this is this is a native american here like i'm per, per, uh, participating in the culture and and moving forward you know with infusion as well so there's just like a whole beautiful um process you know it's the beautiful process beautiful struggle <laughs> as talib kwali would say <laughs> mm -hmm. And talking about what is happening in this year, 2021, and you just released a new album. Yes. Very powerful lyrics in, in, your, in your tracks where you make reference to the current situations we are living with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Particularly, there was one track that got my attention when you uh, make reference to what is happening to the children yeah. uh, that are kept in, in, in cages, uh, trying to cross the border, uh, let them go. Yes. Mm. So it's at the same time 
a way to utilize your music as a way to send messages of social conscience, of denouncing situations that are happening right now, part of that struggle that you mentioned. So what can you tell us a little bit about your, uh, of your latest release? Yeah, so the, the latest release is called Medicine Bundle. And uh, what a medicine bundle is in our tribe is like sometimes the young people, kind of like a rite of passage for the young men, they would go out to the mountains and they would pray and fast. That was part of the, the, the traditions of um, receiving power, you know, to obtain power, uh, get dreams, you know, get visions and get, uh, you know, guidance from the creator to like, hey, this is where I'm going to go. And so they would um, get these dreams and visions. And oftentimes they would have, you know, animals or, you know, plants, part of their medicine. They would put these medicines together and have a, a bundle, a medicine bundle. They were instructed to put these, these elements together and that would create power for that individual, you know, certain things. So different people had different things in their bundles and they were always came from that prayer and fasting from those those things from those dreams and visions came from prayer and fasting to create these medicine bundles which they were that was their strength you know that was their strength and that was their healing that they could take back to their people and uh, and they were guided you know so it, it bring it bring healing in different situations so i titled my my CD, you know, medicine bundle, because that's that's my healing, you know, that's my power, you know, music is is my power, you know, that's what we're doing is we're trying to uplift the people or bringing that good medicine, you know, to the people, yeah. And so I created that, created that, and and use use different issues. I want to highlight those, you know, things that are close to home that I feel that the listener, you know, should should hear. I, I feel it's important for that them they that they hear from my perspective of where I'm at right now in life, you know. It could change tomorrow, you know. My purpose, you know, we're all learning, unlearning, you know. Just uh, life is beautiful that way, and so um, when the listener hears that, that is my perspective at that time, you know. And I, I feel it's important to highlight those different things, like missing and murdered indigenous, you know, people, women. Uh, you have the residential schools that they're finding out in Canada and here in the boarding schools. There's like so much to share um, with the listener. Um, so the things that I've shared is is what I was going through and what I felt important at that time. Yeah. So what can the audience here in Massachusetts can expect for your show here at Bombix? Oh, just a good time. You know, just a good time. High energy, you know, lots of love, man. Interaction, uh, crowd participation, of course, you know. And we'll share a few laughs, you know, we'll share a few laughs. And just hip hop as well, you know. Yo, if you love hip hop, man, we're we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring that hip hop flavor. A little bit of freestyling, you know. Some looping. We got some dancing, of course. Gonna display and um, you know showcase the men's fancy dance, of course. I always uh, love to present that dance. So yeah, that yeah, just a great time. Yeah, I hope everybody leaves from this performance, you know, feeling on a higher level. Of quality of life you know that's my goal when I have a performance I want the people who came in to leave happier than you know when they when they when they got here you know on a higher quality of life walk out of here on a higher quality of life yeah and for people who would like to learn more about your work support your music and enjoy of our previous work how can people get to know and to connect with your music your projects and everything related to Superman Yeah, you can go to my website, which is um, supermanhiphop.org or check my social medias out uh, at Superman Hip Hop. Facebook, you know, Twitter, Instagram, constantly, you know, putting out content on there and, you know, staying connected with everybody. So uh, check me out on, on social media. Well, Superman, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for being here and for your energy and that message that you sent through your music for for everyone to enjoy and to learn from it. Thank you. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. <laughs>